Hey, what's up you guys? It's Lexi DIY and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I am super excited because we are doing episode two of the Hot Mess Lake House Renovation living room and we're gonna get this bad daddy painted which um of i have never painted before a such a large space with a large ceiling and i'm like a tiny little nugget so it was quite the challenge let me tell you but it looks so much better now and i can't wait for you guys to see it i also definitely want to know what part of the living room renovation once you're at the end of this video you think i should tackle next so definitely like keep that in mind as you're watching but i'm gonna go ahead and stop talking let's hop into today's video so last week we prepped all of this for paint which was a whole job in itself because this room has so many openings so many like just different things and it's really tall so um, I didn't cover the light though, and I didn't really care if paint got on it because I knew I'd be replacing it. And I wanted to cover that top beam, but initially we thought that we couldn't reach it. I know I definitely couldn't reach it. I tried to use this little contraption I made, which is um, embarrassingly enough a um, piece of cardboard taped to a broomstick. And I thought that that could be like a little paint guard, but it wasn't really working. Um, and I got a little overspray on the beam. So I decided that I just, although I was trying to go top to bottom, that in that spot where it was close to the beam, uh, or I could potentially get overspray on the beam, that I would just wait until later, until I had a better solution. Um, so that's why the top part of the walls are like a little, you know, not painted. Um, then I was starting to have a little frustration because I was getting tails on my paint sprayer and um, I was trying everything to like get it to work properly. Now I love this paint sprayer but sometimes it does get like clogged and it's probably my fault because I don't really clean it out that good every time and I, I wait because um, I'm tired after painting and so I wait a little and um, yeah anyway i ordered a new tip online and then i did like a huge deep clean of it and i followed some youtube videos that showed me how to kind of like make the pressure better and i also decided this time i was going to thin my paint um i'm using like the higher end paint from bear so i think maybe it was just like a little too thick and i found that when i thinned my paint um using the higher end one that it was going on a lot smoother with my paint sprayer and as you can see my tails were gone and I was getting an even coat. You can really tell from this angle how like peachy kind of pink the room is. I feel like in the rest of the room you can't necessarily see it so much but in this lighting you can definitely tell so much how different the paint color that I put on is versus the one that was, you know, already on there. I uh, used the color Polar Bear by Bear. Also, Bear, if you're watching this, you guys really missed a marketing opportunity because you guys spelt bear like, like a normal bear, but you guys are bear. So I feel like you should change the name Polar Bear to be spelled with your bear. Anyway, that was a random thought, but you know, uh, missed opportunity but it's a beautiful color and I love it it's a very bright white and I'm going to be doing the uh, trim a brighter white so once you guys see me pull out the white paint don't worry it's a different white um, now we realized that we could reach the beam and by we I mean Dustin he was telling me that this ladder extended but I was like we have to lean it up against the wall and he was like no it folds in half and I was like I don't understand and then he just showed me and I was like oh that makes sense so um but i wasn't i was still wasn't tall enough standing on the top of that ladder to reach the beam but luckily dustin was so he so kindly uh wrapped this beam for me so that i could actually finish spraying the ceiling and i wouldn't get it everywhere now um fun fact we actually did get a structural engineer in here to um see about these beams and if if they're structural None of them are, but we didn't know that when we were doing this uh, because as you guys know, I want to take out those uh, beams on the bottom, but I want to leave the one on the top. The ones on the bottom, they kind of just like, I don't know, they really cut the room in half and it's just really weird. So we're definitely going to be taking those out in the future, but um, I 
Uh, also, in the middle of it, it was like such a hot day, so I swapped to my N95 mask, which is also totally fine. Um, but just make sure that if you guys are using, using a paint sprayer and you can't open the windows, that you have everything blocked off and um, that you are wearing a mask because little particles get everywhere. There was so much paint in my hair. I actually also went back and did a second coat on everything just so that it would make the room look more even because like I said, um, when I was doing the spraying in the beginning, I was getting a lot of tails and I was trying to cover them up by like layering um, things on top of each other. But because of the sheen of the paint, uh, I needed a much thicker layer to cover it up because you could see it um, when you were like walking down the entry hallway um, in the right light and I was just like, okay, this is all gonna need a second coat. But I didn't film that because I was like, uh, it's hot, <laughs> it's already all the same color. I don't think everybody wants to watch me spray this room twice. But um, spraying like 14 or 15 foot ceilings as a person who is not even five foot was like not a joke. That ladder is heavy. And um, let's just say I got a nice workout in. Now, while you guys are watching me uh, finish off like the edges of the ceiling and everything, let's talk about this fireplace because I would love to get your guys' opinions on this. Now, it's really unique and I, you know, it's beautiful and I want to keep this like grand to the ceiling fireplace. But something about a wooden fireplace that burns wood seems like a little sus to me. And also um, that wood tone is just definitely not like the vibe, especially since it's like two-toned. So originally I thought about painting it. Um, and now I'm having second thoughts on the whole paint situation. And I'm thinking maybe I should do a skim coat of concrete over it, like cement. Maybe in like a natural cement finish or potentially even like a pigmented charcoal black cement could be really cool. I'm going to keep the mantle wood and I might actually make the mantle a little bit bigger because I feel like for such a big fireplace, it's like oddly kind of thin, if you know what I mean. Um, but I'm also considering maybe doing like a lime wash paint to keep the like ridges in the wood. But I don't know if that'll work because lime wash paint is like very, very thick and it has like little marble, like ground up marble pieces and like stone pieces in it. And so I don't know how that will turn out. I don't know. Anyway. Once it had all dried, it was time to take all of this plastic that makes my house look like Dexter off. And I also took off, um, you know, everything that was on the floor. Now we are gonna be replacing the floors. And um, I'm really excited about that because they are just not the right tone. And also in the right hand corner there, like by the fireplace, there is a big dip in the floors. I, you can kind of see it in that um, when in that angle that I was just at a minute ago. And it squeaks so much and I definitely gotta go in with some floor leveler and fix that before we put new floors in here. Even though the plan is to take these two beams out, uh, I still wanted to cover them up either way because I do plan on repurposing the wood for a future project. I'm not quite sure what that will be yet. I think it would be cool to maybe make like a piece of furniture that goes in the living room or um, use them somewhere else in the house. I'm not quite sure, but um, excited about getting to do that whole project in the future. Then it was time to do my least favorite thing, which is painting trim and windows. Okay, you guys, I hate painting windows. I hate painting any kind of trim, especially when it's wood because it just takes a bajillion times. You know what I'm saying? But I think I'm kind of a professional at it now. So here's my suggestion. I have in the past not used primers on wooden trim 
and I have regretted it because then I have to go over the trim like five times. So what I'm doing here is I'm using a shellac based primer. The only thing I dislike about this primer is that it is so sticky and it ruins your brush and it dries really quickly. But that's what makes it a good primer. So I'm just going to warn you now, if you are going to be painting wood trim and you want to use this technique, you're going to need to buy two trim brushes because there will be no salvaging the one that you use for this primer. Like it, it's just, in my opinion, impossible. Um, but you're going to notice that I'm leaving the inside uh, of the window pieces uh, like taped off and it's not because I'm gonna be leaving them wood It's because I'm going to be painting them black just like I did in the sunroom So also generally when I do trim I do one coat of the primer now and then three coats of the glossy trim enamel and I was just thinking maybe if I do two coats of the primer I could get away with doing only one coat of the trim enamel um, that was incorrect. So here you can actually see me putting on the first coat of trim enamel and it looks really good. It looks opaque, but it wasn't shiny enough. I, I don't know how to describe it. So I did end up going back and doing a second coat and while it looked a lot more opaque and like you couldn't see the brush marks as much when I did two coats of the primer and two coats of the enamel, it wasn't as shiny as uh, some of the other trim. But, you know, I wasn't gonna go back and do a third coat to make it more shiny because that would have been just too much for my little heart to handle. I, I couldn't do it anymore. Um, so, you know, is what it is, but it looks really good. So. The, there wasn't too much of a difference. Honestly, do it whichever way you want. Uh, then I took all the tape off off camera and I put on my liquid like masking tape. Uh, I prefer to do this on windows because you just score it and peel it right off when you're done. And the tape before was giving me trouble when I pulled it off all of the trim. So I thought to myself, you know what? I'm not gonna put tape on the uh, trim that I just painted and I'm just gonna be very careful. Go very slowly. I can do it. Um, I can do it, but let me tell you, it was a waste of time. I wish I would have just put the paint on, or the painter tape on initially, because this, you guys, this is sped up like a million times. It took me forever to do this first window. So spoiler alert, I ended up coming back and putting tape around this so that I could do everything quicker and I put tape on the other two windows before I even touched them with the black paint uh, because I was like there's just there's no way there's no way so anyway I did uh, about two coats on all of the windows of black by bear in a shiny glossy trim enamel and I'm about to show you guys the before and after. I actually only have one video of the after before I started doing another project and I don't want to ruin the surprise. So I'm gonna show you, I'm sorry it's quick, um, but here's the before. It was super dark and just wild. And then here's the after, sorry that my ring light's there, but it looks so much better already. So I'm excited to show you the rest. Thank you so much if you made it all the way to the end of today's video, you guys. I literally can't believe sometimes how much just paint can transform a room. I swear that this room is now like 10 times brighter. Let me know what you guys think that we should update next in the living room because I'm kind of teetering between the fireplace or the lighting and like swapping out the fan, which is gonna be a real chore because of the ceiling. So let me know which one you guys wanna see. But tomorrow I'm actually leaving for VidCon and I am so incredibly excited. So if you guys are gonna be there, make sure if you see me to stop me and say hello. I always love to meet you guys. Uh, and I'll be doing a meet and greet, which I will be able to give more information about soon. But if you're not already, make sure that you're following me on IG and on TikTok. They'll be linked here on the screen and in the description box below because I'm gonna bring you guys along with me in real time to VidCon and there's gonna be a lot of behind the scenes on stories, reels, and just like normal TikTok. So 
make sure if you guys want to see that that you're following me over there and just make sure that you guys are subscribed to me here on youtube and ring that bell notification so that you don't miss when i upload next anyway that's it for me today guys and i will see you in the next one bye